in this lecture we're going to solve the quantum harmonic oscillator problem wherein a particle is subject to a potential that is uh, governs the simple harmonic oscillator so the potential that is governed by a simple that governs a simple harmonic oscillator is given here this is obtained from hooke's law this is a hooke's law potential so force is uh, proportional to the displacement the the restoring force is proportional to the displacement where the proportional take constant is the spring constant so from this we can obtain b so we can write since we can say f is the negative gradient of negative gradient of v so from this we can find out v as the so from this we can integrate f and find out v right so this is the inverse operation and uh, omega k the the proportionality constant the mass of the spring uh, mass of the particle and omega angular frequency is related to this relation okay so we'll be using that so uh, in our schrodinger equation we have to substitute for the potential v where the v term is there we have to substitute for this value the one that is in 2.37 and we make a substitution in, in in k here we make this substitution where k is written out as um, square root of omega m okay so so k is here is nothing but when you substitute here we just write k is equal to m omega square okay so we write the schrodinger equation and we define this new parameter so this parameter is defined by this set of quantities and when we define this parameter the schrodinger equation this schrodinger equation simplifies to this form where k this k is nothing but we are written here this k is nothing but 2e h omega so this is nothing but the energy so this is the energy term in uh, this units okay in this units in half h omega units now what we have to find is we have to find the allowed values of energy for the simple harmonic oscillator so or the allowed values of k in this solution so we, we what we do is for large values of x or large value of this uh, term here this this term dominates in the expression and k value becomes negative for large values of x because this is a square term this is a k term for large values of x this term will dominate so we drop that k term in the expression and the expression stored in the equation becomes like this and this has solutions of this form now our solutions must be valid at x is equal to infinity plus or minus infinity but what happens is this term b okay only when we are able to normalize the function uh, we are able to uh, it, it is a uh, it is it describes a physical set a normalized function now we are not able to normalize x uh, this function where because at x is equal to infinity the b term blows up okay so here uh, for negative infinity uh, this will become zero okay so that's fine but for positive infinity here what will happen it will become uh, uh, it will blow up okay so this b has to be some function it can't be uh, it has to be some function which we'll call it as h some parameter this quantity okay now we have to find out this uh, what this function is now we'll do that now what we're going to do is uh, we said the solution should be in this form so in this schrodinger equation now this is our schrodinger equation we are going to substitute we are going to take the derivatives okay there's a second derivative of this and substitute it here okay they will take in the second derivative and substitute it here and we keep the psi as it is okay so we get the expression we get is this is the expression we get now this equation okay so this is the expression we get and So psi square is written in terms of h and this is the expression we get. Now, this 
uh, this differential equation is solved by a special kind of function called Hermite polynomial. So we in your uh, when you do your mathematical physics, you will learn about some special functions. They are called Bessel's. They are there are Bessel functions. There are Legendre polynomials, Logger polynomials, like that. This is a special class of special functions for this kind of a differential equation called the Hermite polynomial. So this uh, this h value, this h, the, this h function is nothing but the Hermite polynomial. Okay, and this equation has a solution of the form as written out here, where this h function is nothing but the Hermite polynomials. They are they are generated now by uh, this expression here. So for n is h is equal to one. Okay, so for h is equal to one, you just have to substitute one in or in this expression. So in this power term, you have to substitute one, and in this different uh, differentiation term, you have to substitute whatever the value of n. So the value of n is two. You have to differentiate it twice. Okay, so you substitute like that, and uh, this n is what quantizes the this fun uh, this solution. Okay, this n is what quantizes this solution, and uh, this is the solution of the harmonic oscillator problem in quantum mechanics, where this h n h n is a Hermite polynomial, and this is called the uh, logger relation. So you can generate all the polynomials. That is h is, for h is equal to one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. By sub just substituting the value of n and doing this set of operations, and that will give you the solutions.